shenanigans going on. Um, we were not really spectating the game for a while, but the riot support was awesome. They got us yes. back in. Didn't take a little while, but you know what? We've missed uh, really no gameplay. We saw what was going on before. People going back towards uh, the lanes with the two v one going up top, two v two, uh, two one v two down bottom. Yep. And it looks like the one thing we didn't miss was Chaucer showing up to cho uh, top and not really able to accomplish anything. No kills going out. CS still being pretty equal across the board. Yep. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, yeah we got this. We got the Batoy and Cretan up there in the top lane. Aurelia and Shen both at one CS. Yeah. So it's uh, yeah not not a whole lot missed. And that, that's unfortunate. You know, Shen doesn't have the highest damage with Whirlpool Blade. And that's no. that's the big issue, too. It's like the cooldown and the damage. And it's weird to say it because normally it's like, well, last hitting isn't that hard when you practice it enough. It's not so much that he can't last hit. It's that he has such a limited range when he can go in for that last hit that he gets punished. Right. So hopefully uh, the message has been passed on. We should be getting the unpause here in just a moment. Go ahead and check one thing out. Lots of chat going on between the players. Can't really. Sh oh wait. Yeah. Actually, that is being shown. Whoops. Forgot we're showing that. I'm incredibly. <laughs> whoops. Hopefully nothing rude was said. <laughs> I think we got it. Yeah. I, think we I was gonna. I was like, well, we can look at the chat. Then I realized. Wait now. Wait a minute. We're streaming it. Wait a second. Wait a wait second. Wait a minute. And players <laughs> not known for saying the most uh, stream appropriate things. Yeah. Ever. But more importantly, during pauses. <laughs> there we oh, go. Oh, cool. We're going back in. Just in time. Here we go. Oh God. All right. Get that block out of the way. Yeah, this should... I think it'll catch up a little bit. Hmm. And for the time being, though, we'll just have to watch <laughs> Angus just the, place the direction blades. camera's still definitely moving around. Apparently, Local Doak is going for a, a very, very aggressive tower dive. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, a little, little bit odd positioning you would normally see from a Sona of this caliber. But Angus, she's there. Back turned. How rude. There, there we, we go. go. All we right. Got it. All right. Everything's back to normal. So I believe. And Angus, you know, he took the lead for about half a second, but two to CS still <laughs> for the top players. Uh, you, know, that, you know what they say it uh, many times, you know, technology is the backbone of esports, and sometimes, you know, it does uh, inevitably fail, but it's okay. We're and this back. This is the final tap of esports currently. <laughs> but we're back in, we're alive. Angus taking down very low in the bot lane, though, taking wow. a lot of pressures. The Ezreal Sona lane, lots of aggression, lots of just the Him of Valor. Plus the constant mystic shots, essence fluxes, double up is just going to be making, uh, I'd say, Angus play like a bullet hell. He's constantly dodging. He makes one mistake, takes too much damage, going to have to retreat. Pretty much, and he already has had to. Coming back with wards and a few more potions to the name, just he can stay down for a little while longer and survive, uh, at the very least, until he hits six, until he has the ultimate and can just sustain down and bot just a little while longer. Shen, I mean, it's still 10 to 10 in CS. It's oh, weird wow. to how. Oh, Maluno with the scream, just getting angry at Orion. I'm looking to you, Shen. It, it really is how weird how just the lane is built entirely around getting experience in the 1v2. I mean, it's still 10 to 10 despite the fact that Angus went back to base, but Hotshot has a lead just because he's level 4 versus level 3. Yep. And, and uh, Angus going aggressive. Here comes Maluno. Maluno. He did not get what he wanted to down in the mid, but he will try something here in the bot. Logo Doko ignited. Thrown down to Q, but there's a very low double lift in the no brush. No mana double lift. No mana. Uh, he's only relying on all attacks. The rupture pops him up, but the first blood still goes to Ezreal. And double buff at that if the gold wasn't already huge enough. Now he's got a double buff in a 2v1 situation. That was brutal. That was a great play. Actually, Hotshot GG getting stunned. Getting burst. One more auto attack is Granted. enough. Will Willie. Oh, oh, very low. Drink the potion as fast as you can. It's score very low, but that, that is... So both of the ADs getting some quick kills down here, but definitely the double lift got the better part of that one. He has a double buff, Maluno being shut down the jungle. Now this wow. bot turret down to 200 HP. This is a six minute tower push. That's so. a pretty huge <laughs> gain this Dang, early on. Gone. And it just up until now, this has been an even gold game, but with that one turret, CLG Prime shifts on over into the lead. And watch Loco Doko already head towards the top lane. The plan is, all right, we got that turret. We're just gonna swap around now. Yes. And they want to make sure that either they 2v2 top lane prevent their own turret from going down, or they 2v1 and get another turret in response. And that's going to be a very, very big deal if uh, they can get two quick turrets. The gold lead, it's only 600. Not a lot necessarily, but this is very, very early on in the game. And that bot turret being down, that's a lot of presence on the map gone. That means that Dragon, if uh, CLG pushes hard in the bot lane, they might be able to secure Dragon and Curse. You know, Creation did get a kill. That yes. is Vayne getting an early kill, and Vayne does not want early kills. Vayne does not 
really get early kills unless they're going to win the game really hard from what we've seen. Right. And, and uh, yeah, and we're seeing the itemization between these two ADs also. Double lift going for the BF sword. Wants some damage. And Graydon, though, wants to be a little bit more mobile and sustained. Has the Pier 2 boots and the Vamp Scepter and the Dorans. There is a Cho'Gath up top. Yeah, you know, there is. I mean, they want to snowball Bane. Bane's going to be the, the big part of Curse's team. Bane and Kate are not Caitlyn, Katarina. <laughs> there you go. And it's going to be all about that kind of like those resets, those snowballs. One character, if they, they're allowed to stay alive, if Bane gets a lot of damage off, if Katarina can get the resets, that's oh, going to be so huge. patient. Loco Doko not getting caught in a rupture. The Condemn actually pushing Loco away a little bit too far, but it's okay. The Silver Bolts are there with all that true damage to help seal the deal onto Sona. Wonderful camp out by Baluno. He decided to be patient. Bided his time, the payoff was huge. Oh, double, double lift a lot of damage. Literally has to the face. One more silver bolt from Creighton. That is enough for the kill there. What, that's a two kills. Top lane there for Curse EU. Now uh, they, they've uh, they've already made back the gold that they lost, letting uh, tier one bot drop. And Angus doing well at bot lane. 33 CS to 16 CS. That kill on the Shen really shutting down Hotshot GG's experience. Angus already hitting level six now. And this is this is kind of scary because Vayne getting three kills. We've seen that win games. Yes. That's been why some team will win a game just because Vayne gets ahead early on. Now this top turret being pressured quite Ooh. a bit. I mean, Choster is there, is level six. If they can get a kill now, but well, uh, Creative does have that cleanse, not too easy to take down. Yeah. And that's kind of the scary part. It's just Vayne, she has cleanse, still up, she has flash, still up. She was able to chase down and double it because of uh, the move speed and tumble yes. spider from her passive. And this is, this is going to be very, very hard for CLG to come back. They have to shut down Creighton, but still make sure Ixing doesn't get too out of control mid lane. And he's 63 CS to 52. He is a little bit ahead right now. Yep. And the last thing you want to do when you get an early tower, just like CLG got, is to give up kills in succession because that, he's just the goalie, completely blown. And actually, that really puts uh, Angish into a great place because when the wave inevitably pushes back, to the bot tier two. That is a lot of time for Aurelia to free farm. That's just gonna get the new Triforce quicker. That's gonna get you to GA quicker. And yeah. that's gonna be a huge team fight presence. And th that's an issue because, well, with that turret down, it can build up. There's gonna be a place where Angus with minimal ward coverage can farm safely. And because of that, because there is now a safety net, and normally when you take an early turret, you are ahead, which was the case, but that is no longer as look at double of taking so much damage. Creighton, now he's got the double buff. Maybe that was just a very, <laughs> very unique buff transfer taking the course of uh, about two minutes. And well, and, if they oh, can keep man. running the lane, this is going to be just devastating. And Maluna's got a double buff. On, there's three blue buffs on the map right now, actually, the, the, all, the, uh, all the passing. But double of chucked out way too huge, has to back off and Maluna realize, hey, you know what, there's still an opportunity in the mid also, but he actually may stick around here in top lane. Meanwhile, Chouster down here and bought the taunt, followed up by the banish toss onto Angus. He's in full retreat. Ghost heard that one, but there's the curse of the sad mummy taking out the Aurelia. And because Chouster went down, there's great kill, great pickup, making Hotshot a little bit more relevant, but at the same time, that's a long cooldown. That's Chris and Sad Mummy. That's a flash. That's a ghost plane. So Loco. huge. Oh, Loco Doko. Oh, and the escape. cleanse. Help. Not the able to get the kill, but uh, forced out the ulti. Forced out, forced forced out a out lot of a, things. A lot of long cooldowns. Wow. Look at CLG's cooldowns. They only have Sin United up and uh, Ezreal's ultimate in terms of C uh, cooldowns they can use. And that's that's a big deal. Yeah. Crescendo level 1 takes forever to come back. Same with Chris and the Sad Mummy. And that's going to really hurt them. They, uh, it'd be good for Curse EU right now to go for an early dragon. They can go for objectives. They're going to keep up their pressure. Right. And they still have Flash and Creaton. And this is, this is, you know, an equal game. But the control is definitely in, in EU's yeah. favor right now. And we'll also look at all the great offensive ward coverage coming in from uh, Curse EU also. So right now, top side of the map belongs to Curse. There's really no way you can test it there. The ward coverage is too great. There is no oracles yet in CLG time. Has Maluno actually gotten one? Not yet, but guys, if he sticks onto the same game plan that he's been doing this entire series, he should actually have one in the next few minutes. And that's going to provide a lot of coverage, you know, with those early turrets going down, you can go for more aggressive wards. There's less, there's less map control for both sides in that respect. Um, it's going to be a bit more important for bot side turret to be down just because you have that drag control, and right now that's going to be more relevant. Oof. But it looks like Creighton's just going to try and keep killing Double Lift. Double Lift, it is not safe to farm up there. One, two, does not get the stun off of the Condemn, but still has the ultimate up and still has tons of damage with that extra movement speed. It is not, it, Ezreal cannot farm. Ezreal like, simply cannot yeah, farm. Yeah, he cannot farm against the Vayne. Bane just has too much chase. Arcane Ship gets too far away, but if Bane has her ultimate up, and it, even just the passive and tumble combined yeah. provides so much mobility, so much control. Chaucer's headed up towards top lane, doesn't have his ultimate up though. 
We'll see what happens. He just wants to try and throw down a ward, but he may actually regret it. You got Lulu in chase, wants to slow. Lulu is also out there in front. If he can get a great rupture, they could also do equally as well, but Loco Toko just edging out through the try does not get hit with the rupture, luckily enough. Still be, they only have one ultimate up. It's going to be San United. Nice. You got the interrupt of the Katarina but the damage has already been done. Extinct is ignited, running back in through mid, but Big Bad is already too weak. So it's kind of an even, even damage trade, but... Oh. Uh, and this is yeah. scary. Hotshot can't use ultimate. Oh, okay, now he can. Okay, now he well, can. Oh, no, tower shot, now he can. <laughs> <laughs> but he could not get the ultimate for a while because Angus was there with a bit too much or too little HP, so he couldn't yeah. reliably get the stun off. Double, uh, double of tries. Try, he can't try, get zero, he just can't. It's just, the poke is too strong. I mean, Vade has a zeal, has a chase potential. He's got crit, he's got boot speed, and her base damage with the ultimates is really high. Yeah. And, and they need hot shots, you need to hold, but I mean, Angus, he's, he keeps doing a little bit of pressure, then he takes a tower shot and evens yeah. it out. A little bit of pressure, tower oh, shot, pressure, tower shot. Bot, Chowster's coming on, and he does have the ultimate up, making make a repeat what happened last time, and now Angus knows. You see the Amumu, you have to flash, otherwise the chain CC will be too strong. It is still the biggest strength of CLG Prime, but it's still a concern. Meeting up with the war, Chester will be spotted going back through the bot try, but here comes Malunu. Was spotted, Hotshot wisely backs off, as it's going to allow uh, Curse to push here in bot. Meanwhile, in top, you got Patoy speeding out it's of there. It's right out of there, because guess what? A blue buff, I believe it just went to Extinct, uh, just with the extra CDR, is going to yes, be a much more annoying Katarina versus Big Fat LP. <laughs> but that's blue buff shut down on Orion. That's yeah. that's important, just because right now she uses a lot of mana, uh, I believe. Oh, not no Chalice. Chalice is finished yeah. on the Big Fat LP, and that's not enough mana regen. It's nice, yeah. it's definitely noticeable, but you need a lot more early on. Yeah, and Orianna is one of those champs. You need the blue buff. You're spamming out your abilities so much. And the fact that you've lost jungle control on your own side this early, it's not just Big Fat being behind. It's oh, the entire hot team. Hot forever wow. to interrupt that. And he did have the advantage. Angus did not have mana to fight him right there. He could have just been annoying, waste right. a lot of his time, and that's... I, I, it might be near emotion near hitting CLG. Near insulting, even. Yeah, like, it's that, like I know that was a good second and a half. It was. <laughs> and hot shot. He knows you can bully him. He knows you can just kind of just mess him around right now. Smack him. Smack him beside the face. Great in here. Back at top. Throwing down the ult. The, war, the bush is warded, by the way, Loco. There is the cleanse coming on in. Will he able to get the kill? There is a movement coming on in. Lulu ult perfectly timed. Just to get the pop-up, just delay a fraction of a second before Chester can get the ultimate off the toy. Does he still have the flash? Yes, he does. Goes over back up to the wall and to safety. There's Big Fat, though, with the ultimate. Keeping Bane behind in the top river. Is the damage going to be enough? Yes, auto-attack oh, from no Ezreal going to deal. Oh, There's the true oh. shot barrage. Getty Lou, you will not leave here. But look at all of the effort. Look at how many ults it took just to take out those two members of Curse EU. And while everyone is often displaced, that is a dragon for Curse That was Curse of the Sad Mummy, Command Shockwave, Crescendo, True Shot Barrage, Stand United, and that was a really close escape. Yeah. Like Big Fat LB had been a couple seconds slower coming up that river. Four that ults. would have been an escape. Well, actually, no, all the ults. You know, that was every, every single, single ult. Every single ult. Used to take out those two. They do wow. this dragon response, so it's not even that big of a net gain. They need to take out this top turret. They need to take it out fast because Bane, yeah. they're, they're headed up there. Yeah. That actually is no you know, Dragon's worth roughly about two kills. Yeah, so, so it's, it's basically it's just equal. nothing. It's nothing unless and CLG gets. This tower. The nice thing is, Vayne is shut down from farming, but she's already finished her Phantom Dancer. They're too scared to go up there. Extinct, oh, yeah. actually. They just don't have the time to take out this turret, so so <laughs> much was used, but for a dead game. Yeah, and those ults, all of them down for so long. There's a good, like, still, like, a, a oh, minute or two. Only one level 11, and that's gonna be a big fight oh, So, Hotshot GG, San United still has a 200 second cooldown. That is massive. There's still a good two minutes where Curse EU just has complete free They, they have everything. They've, they've got the control. It's like, what do you do if you're CLG, uh, CLG NA right now? You, you wait. wait. You hurry up and wait. And all right, they do have double of his ultimate back up. True Shot Barrage is going to be very nice. Man, I thought that be up in a few seconds. Yeah. But that's that's not how they're playing. They want the AoE coming out from Chaucer in terms of CC. They want Hot Shot to be able to split push from that bot lane. On a side note, uh, very, very good job coming out from Angus, stopping the ultimate teleport from yes. Hot Shot with his own Equilibrium Strike. Fantastic job there. And that, that could have they could have made the fight a little bit easier. That would have been much better. That would have been much better. And probably would have to use every ult. 
to actually seal that, but man, They would have probably still lost Dragon, but they might have been able to push faster, might have been able to go ahead, take out a turret, and it, that was just a nice little play there, stopping that ult from going oh, through. Oh, Blue out in front, but they have actually been picked up by CLG, so they know something is up, they know they're being camped out in their own jungle, and uh, they actually see the transition as they're going up to the blue up area. Meanwhile, bot lane, Angus, free damage on a hot shot, and uh, CLG just making, uh, Curse just making their rounds, you have the oracles on Maluno, just making sure you clear out all of the garbage. Creatin, he's got the Phantom Dancer now. Like he's he's ramped up very quickly. 136 he has to doubles, 123, so not super far ahead. But yeah. still, look at Extinct at the mid lane, 161 to 140. So just kind of nice CS leads across every single lane, except the jungle where Chaucer's ahead by about 12 CS. So yeah. they're behind in farm. They're equal really just because of uh, some of the kills. And it's a close match still, but mm. it's the late game presence coming out from the team with Katarina, Fade, and Aurelia. Yeah. Shen. The problem is right now, he can't 1v1 Aurelia. He doesn't have the farm, he doesn't have the item. Shen is great once he picks up a Wood Sand, possibly a Triforce, just because he deals so much damage. It scales him so well because he has really good base stats for that. Yeah. But the, yeah. he just can't fight him right now. And the problem with Shen being in that spot is that that eliminates the potential for a split push later on in the game. If you're looking to split push later on, that means you are a bigger force than your opponent. You can push them around. And when you have someone like Angus being so well farmed and so well fed, it, it, it completely just negates the plan outright. And right now, first, they're looking for that leg. And just looking at Aurelia's item, she has a heart of gold, has a Philosopher's Stone. It's all about waiting, and this turret will be going down. There you go. That's a nice little chunk of gold right now in favor of Curse EU, and they're, they're, they're edging out very slowly, but they have the gold on the right people right now. It's such a low kill game. They've all been relatively low kill games, except for maybe you gave one in favor of CLG North America, but it's still, it's looking kind of rough right now. The CLG, they're going to need to start grouping up. Their opens are back up. Now they can make their big plays. Now they can make some really cool fights happen. Yeah, but also remember, though, that CLG had this very minuscule lead earlier on in the game. And two kills is all it is to just bring the game back to even. If they can get two kills, if they can see the next dragon, or uh, just you know, to throw it out there just because it's equal amount of gold to the Baron, not saying it's very likely, but if they happen if to. If they can. If um, they can, that's, that, that lead vanishes. I, I do love how Angus at the bot lane ran out of mana and then caught up to you and he's like, wait, now I'm going to kill I'm, you. Yeah, I'm and pretty sure he's, yeah, he's, he's around backing hard. more just to get mana than it is for like anything else. It's that once he runs out of mana, that is a problem. I really yeah. does have a very mana dependent just because, well, all of her skills, unlike most fighters, she doesn't really have a decent passive for offensive right. uh, skills. Hit and style, you need to hit that W. You need that active to really do your DPS. Yeah. So it's kind of funny to watch that, but that might be Hot Shot GG saving grace down there. It's like yeah. you may not be able to 1v1 in a burst fight, but if the fight lasts long enough, guess what? She'll run oom. But, the, yeah. but the fact is that Angus is, has enough time cleared to go back, get mana, come back, and has still not lost the creep lead. He's going and look for this at chase. how much damage he's doing to Hot Shot. Ignite Ghost going down, Ghost being popped, shield up just to reduce some of the damage, but here comes Extinct. Looking to finish the job, waiting for the Shun Po. Oh, all God. The, that was with the shield up on Shen. With the Shunpo, all the blades. Uh, actually, that wasn't a Shunpo to proc that. That was actually just uh, Sinister Steel. He used Shunpo to get to a ward sooner, had a blow flash to yeah. do that kill, but still, yeah, I mean, he exploded right there. That's Fantastic. another kill. Dragon should be up relatively soon. They're going to have control of the area because of the Oracles to sweep through there, clean it up. Ionic Spark now finished on Shen and have a lot more fight, but still, yeah. I mean, that's another kill, and now that mid being looked at as all of Percy is roaming around so aggressively. I'm loving the style. They're just so they're good. going for kills. They're going just, just, just to push right now. But Double does take top turret, so they, they want to make something happen out of that. Yep. So Asha getting the Ionic Spark. The key means he's he's looking to clear waves at the very least. He recognizes he's behind in farm. And that's also one of the few champs who can actually itemize into Ionic Spark is Shen. So hopefully he'll be able to push back a little bit on Angus, but... Seeing as how the uh, the last turn of events went, it may not be very likely, but we'll see. We'll see. It's, it's still it's still 20, it's the 20 minute mark. We're just now heading into the mid game, and some of these champs are just getting even more dangerous. Creighton is actually very close. Uh, just a few more creeps actually getting to the, the BF sword, and we'll eventually uh, build on in to the Infinity Edge, which the damage output just skyrockets at that yeah. point. Like, I feel like we've been saying, like, oh my god, curse you so much, but really, it's it's the team comps. It's the yeah. fact that, alright, CLG, they do have a decent late game, but they're built around this AoE composition. AoE compositions, if they're not at the right level of gold, sometimes you have to just be equal, sometimes you can be behind, sometimes you have to be ahead. If they don't have enough gold, they can just lose a fight just because they don't do enough damage. Yeah. Now, uh, curse, 
They have the oracles, clear out the ward in the dragon pit, and instantly take it for themselves. Hasha throws down the ward, but I don't think there's a whole lot that Susie can do about it, other than outside of a, a lucky true shot rock in there. It goes, there it not going to get it. Close, but... It's close. It's a good effort, but... Well, the problem is you have to deal with a Feast into a smite, and yeah. I'm, oddly enough, uh, well, Feast wasn't used there, so I Didn't really actually it, got yeah. that last bit. <laughs> But it also Baluda's at full stacks already, so he wouldn't have the. It's really no real better. It's just to secure, yeah. it, and they they were feeling confident already. Exactly. Though so, Angus still got it, so they they could have messed that up. That could have gone could've. to a double of theirs. So, oopsie, but yeah. And, still, and like we said before, you know, just all, like one objective like dragon could be enough. Yeah, to it's gonna. It's all about even. teetering. It's all about these small little gains. Uh, like when I really yeah. finish their Trinity Force, that's gonna be a big deal, just because now that the item's complete. You know, she can just sit there versus Shen. There's no, there's a, like, Ion Spark will not cover that difference. Double lift, tried to shift out of trouble, but there's a rally with the Equilibrium Strike. Shen with the ultimate, the only way you'll be able to protect your AD and does now join the fight. Wants to defend this four man push from Curse in mid because you got uh, Vayne actually lagging a little bit behind, does have the red buff, should be redirecting shortly. So there's a small opportunity here from CLG if they want to get aggressive, but alas, Double lift did have to back, did have to heal. So there's a lot of pressure. On to CLG Prime here from Curse EU. Oh, hot shot GG. If he spotted going back there, oh, man. they're going to take so, that turret. Yeah, that's so brazen out there. He's like, the ult is down. They saw him yeah, use they the saw ult. Me, uh, and look at Curse. They're just they're still pushing. They're yeah. Just, well, oh, he's okay. Yeah, let's like, do this. It's, like, he, it's a race. It's basically a race. Or that, or CLG has decided to just allow the tower to fall. They know they can't defend it at this point and possibly try to run over at the Oh, they could have made it on fight, though. With the curse of the stab on me, Angus going down very low. The first one to fall in this fight. There's too much damage coming from CLG Prime. And Moluto is not with the team. He has been split off into the top river. But Toy with the flash over the wall got very low and also out of mana. And Hotshot leading the charge wants to take a tower in response. Creates it now. Here's a nice bandage toss over to Vayne, but does get popped up by the rupture. Lots of true damage coming on in, but there's a Sono, only four extinct. Manages to get the kill. Feast coming on in, gonna help out Vayne, take out the Shen, forcing out the cleanse, forcing out the flash. That is a one for two so far in CLG Prime's favor. Chester got very low, but he's still a brave mummy. And now tier two in mid, falling. CLG Prime grabbing that. It is now back to an even game. And they delayed long enough, even without the Sand United, they were able to go ahead, get that AoE fight down. They hit enough people. I don't know if it was all five being hit by that Curse of the Sad Mummy, but it felt like four. And in the end, not everyone was underneath the turret, but so much got used on Angus there, yeah. trying to keep him alive. He was stuck under the turret, had the aggro, was taking a lot of damage, but guess what? Wild Growth did not save him. Blue Shield did not save him, so the retreat. I mean, Patoga was out of mana. They could not really disengage well. Yeah. But still, um, the gold still only 600 in favor of CLG, or CLG after taking two turrets. This mid turret, well, now it's gone. goodbye mid turret. <laughs> it was nice knowing you. So gold still equal. CLG though, they use their cooldowns if they can just wait for them to come back up. If they can not let too much ground get lost while waiting for them to just these long cooldowns. As San United still a good 60 seconds away. Same with right. about first the sad mummy. Once that's back up, they can just get into fights like that. Jester it's with that oracle is now helping to clear out some of the coverage. And uh, man, I, Maluna though, that last fight. He was just like, you know what? I got this Oracles. I got to hold on to it. I'm out of here. And, yeah, he's, he's, and, and, and as, as bad as it looked, that was the right choice. He needed to make sure he didn't like, engage too much. They still picked up Hotshot. It was, still, it was one for three in the end. Yeah. And that could have been a lot worse. But, you know, it was. I'd say it's okay given the circumstances. Right. And was even that one then, for three or one for two, actually? That's a one for two. Oh, one for two. Okay, my bad. But, uh, but the thing is, though, there's two towers that fell off. Yeah, that. the two towers are the big yeah. thing. That's, that's what CLG really needs now. So they have those turrets gone. They can push mid and hard. Baron is now very easy to aggress on. Well, if it wasn't for the fact that Curse E was already there. Yeah. But now, turrets has always been CLG's main focus, and especially with their Shen, it's a split push composition. Not having turrets is going to be the basis. You push, you take the turrets, you take objectives, maybe not get kills. But gold's still equal, so a lot of fight in both these teams. Yep. And now, uh, now that Shen's managed to itemize a little bit uh, further on in, he may be able to last a little bit longer with, uh, against Angus. Angus does, however, now have the training force completely uh, done. He's going to be working up next towards that Guardian Angels. That's the natural uh, item progression for Aurelia, so you're going to have that extra light pretty soon. And uh, that's going to be so important in these uh, next few team fights, especially when you have major objectives that you want to press, like the Baron. So. What really has to happen for Curse E to win a straight up like AoE team fight, they have to not get hit by the AoE, which is the best right. thing. But it's gonna be up to Maluna to possibly on to fix that LP before he can get his combo off to try and like counteract their initiation. They're gonna be stuck in place because of a Mumu, but if they can get better CC, CC that isn't just a root, onto Hotshot GG, onto Big Bell up here, double lift, that's gonna be the big deal. And it's gonna yep. come a lot 
to the rupture. One good rupture could win a fight, and that's that's scary because it is not a reliable skill. Yeah, there is also a plan B though on a Chrissy, and we actually saw it during the whole ultimate fest up top lane, and that is the wild growth on Lulu because there a lot of these champs still need to get to very close quarters in order to get the chain CC off, and if a wonderfully timed, wonderfully positioned Lulu ult pops up enough members of CLG Prime, that could actually be all the time bought that you need to single out the champs. Oh, CLG just sending a bandage toss <laughs> over the ridge. It's like, all right, we get a kill. Yeah, let's see if we can do this. We can win a fight. And if they hit five, they possibly could have oh, done no. it. Are they going to race it? They could. Oh, they're hiding in the pit just for now, seeing if they can't bait seal, uh, Cursey U into something. They may actually fall for it. Angus going out in front. Wait, where's the bandage toss? There it is. Does not land. Maluto out in front. Angus goes right into the middle of the pit. Big Fat LP. Taking too much damage from Aurelia and the Baron. Maluto does go down. Here comes the ult from Amumu. But the damage has already been done. Angus actually gets to safety. The wild is still up. Keeping Hotshot stuck inside the pit. But the ultimate will not be enough. And that is a 4 for 1 in favor of Curse of You. That, that was a plan gone wrong from CLG. Who was CLG baiting I there? I don't themselves know. Themselves or Curse? I think they baited themselves. I mean, they waited too long. <laughs> Actually, Double is trying to fight now. Extinct really low. He might be able to do some damage here, at least for yeah. the Baron. Angus having to run out. Baron not going to be finished. Curse, do not do what CLG did to make them lose. Oh, game Patoy, right, Patoy. Get Patoy out of there. Is, the, is the flash is oh, up. Oh, Cleanse. Cleanse. Oh, flash in response. At least Double have got that one is still a net gain for Curse, though, and wow. Four for one, wow. four for two in the end. They did take an Oracles off from Luna, which is going to be nice for them. And but, three stacks. I mean, they, they waited too long to get into the fight there. It was going to be a good fight if they had Chaucer either flashing or bandit Chaucer in right away. Yeah. They were trying to wait a bit too long, trying to get the perfect setup, and that just delayed it too long. Yeah. Angus got the blade surge over the wall, eliminated Big Fat LP before the fight could even begin. And of course, Creatin, he did get hit by Curse of the Sad Moment, cleansed it right off, took out Chaucer, took out Loco Doko, and Double no up did escape, but did not look that good. All right, this is an okay circumstance to be in, though. Yes. They see Patoy down, they're going for the barrage. Cooldown's not quite up for them, but if they, if they can get it, that can uh, be huge. Luno has flash, Luno has consume and smite up. He could steal this. It is a very close race to put on the rupture. There will not be a steal happening for the Chogat today. He will go down. That is even more stacks gone. A move again credit for both the Baron and for the Cho kill. Extinct caught behind and Hotshot GG leading the charge. You have the ult you had the ultimate up on Vayne, does not have it anymore. And one taunt. Nice condemn. Very well timed. You're saving yourself oh. a little bit more. Nice tumble. Out of the bandage toss too, Last but that second. is still nice try, Chaster. But that is still your front line and some of your major damage from Curse of You gone. They cannot defend this tier three in mid. The inhibitor will no doubt go down here also. And what seems to be a major control point for Curse of You. CLG comes straight on back, I mean, brute forces Barons. that Baron, and takes it. And it was it. so close. But Luna, had he uh, gotten the consume off, that would have been a steal. That was, that was great. Uh, you know, he didn't have the vision. Use the rupture yeah. last second. Did not get there in time. And really, that's what it came down to. Once Maluna went in, he was dead no matter what. Even if they got Baron, he was trying to go in at the last second. That put him in such a bad position because once they right. killed Maluna, it's like, well, you're still here. We'll take you out too. And it cost them an inhibitor in the end. I don't, th I don't know if they could have held 4v5, but they definitely can't yeah. with 3v5. And the, so. yeah. and the worst part too about uh, Maluna also is that you're such a tiny, tiny cho. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's getting so closer to adorable than you know, scary. He's, he's so Only tiny. Only one stack right now, and well... Now a 4,000 gold lead with CLG having a lot of Baron still left. About two yeah. and a half minutes, I'd say. Yeah. And Maluna's yeah, been also playing a lot of the control game. You know, kind of like just being there for the CC. Only has level two the ultimate. It's still going to take quite a while to actually build up to the big tanky Cho that you're used to. That's a good start. That's, you that's got one snack. Uh, okay, it's just a blue wolf. Only worth six gold. But it's, hey, it's, hey, it something. doesn't matter. It's whatever you eat. not. It's what you... Right. It's that you get to eat, not what you eat. Yeah. Like, Cho'Gath is not what he eats, he's just Cho'Gath. Right, so many wolves and growing. Yeah, no, so many no, wolves, no, so no. many just minions, whatever he can. <laughs> Blue buff going straight to double if right there. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, uh, but that's well, still... Big LP not quite nearby, and well, <laughs> now he has a Fiends, now he's a Deathfire, uh, a Ravdon's death cap. I think he's okay, just not getting blue buff for a bit. Yeah. They secure it quickly, they can push on, and what's going to be the big deal, I'd say, is double lift using his Mystic Shop. Yeah, let, let's face it, he's 6-1-3 and three right now. Uh, does he have the most farm on the team? He has the most farm in the game. So, it, 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 it makes sense. It makes sense to give the big this man is, both buffs. This is going to be scary, though, because Baron buff, it's still got, you know, a little bit of time. Oh, this actually may not be the scary at all. Angus being caught out. Uh, the only one caught in the Amumu ult, though, and that was a little bit uh, too hasty 
from Seals Prime, that may have actually been the flub up, which may allow Curse to sort of maneuver back into this. There's a rupture, there's CC coming on in, and Curse, they can still fight back knowing that that massive AoE is gone. There's still the Sona ult to worry about, there's still the uh, Orianna ult to worry about. But Creighton has a plan, that's gonna be the, yes. that's gonna be the big factor. That is a huge thing. They do give it the tower though, and well, it's still a very scary vein, but the Baron buff a bit too intimidating. Chasha's ultimate, even though it's, yeah. oh, that's, he's gonna have some fun right now. <laughs> hey, it's, it's, it's a piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy, you wanna clear that ward. It's gonna kill time. It's gonna keep you there just for a second longer, which sometimes is more than enough, but there's still only a minute left on that Baron buff. CLG Prime there, trying to push is very limited still. They, they did get managed to get the mid in hip. They're trying for another. And also remember, there's so many super minis now pushing here. Cursing you, their attention is somewhat split at the moment. If they can get one good catch, one good kill, Seal G, North American, take out this turret, take out this team, and advance. Oh, hot shot. Be the only North American team still alive. Not just Malphite can just stand there and tank a turret. How much armor does he have right now? 270. We saw Malphite earlier, actually. Exactly. Like a champ hotshot with all of those shields, standing right in front, brave chin up to the tower. I don't care if you do hit me, it ain't gonna be they, they can't poke back because of Sona and the Baron, but yes. this, is gonna be, this is just so hard for Cursey you to hold this from the strategy. Even if hotshot takes damage, yep. guess what, he's being killed by two different things. Baron buff now gone, are they gonna fight this? I think they may, there's a cleanse being used by Creatin, but Chester caught out of the back, and Angus a little bit too far deep into enemy territory, wanted to go to the back line of CLG Prime, but could not get anything. Creatin still also up onto the stairs, Wants to get some damage, but there's Sona with the old getting being under wraps. But there may actually go for a route here. There's the sound down on the big pack. Can Creighton live on this? Guardian oh, Angel. Oh, Maluno ticking away, barely alive. Oh, wow. It's Maluno. three for two in favor of Curse U. They still have that top turret, which has no HP. Actually, if no one stays there to defend, it's going to die to that creep wave right there. Oh, yeah. It's uh, are they gonna are they gonna get this? It's, it's three, got three it's HP. Three health. All right, all right. <laughs> Maluno, get there. Maluno, can defense. you do Run. it? Get the Maluno. Can you defend the turn? Oh, oh, will he be oh. able to? They got it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, barely. Somehow defends it. the three health turret. Where is Heimerdinger when you need him? But they're, whatever, they're alive, <laughs> and that's the important thing. That mid inhibitor should be back relatively uh, soon. They're looking powerful. They're behind gold, but they still have that late game team up. Extinct. Got melted that fight, but he got yeah. the reset from Hotshot GG. Got a few spells on a double of almost took him down himself, and that's that's the big thing. Yeah. Extinct is now scary. Creation is now scary. They have the late game. They're at the late game. Yes. But they're barely hanging on still. They're, they have free HP on that top inhibitor turret. Inhibitor turret. Yep. Mid inhibitor is going to be responding soon. They need a hold just for a few more minutes. Get one or two good team fights, and they'll be back in this game. Hey man, as they say, the game is not over until that Nexus goes down. So you have to stick it out and see what you can do from there. Uh, the Baron should actually be up in a few minutes, and also that Guardian Angel on Creatin will be back up in about four. So there's still a nice timing attack window that CLG Prime can still actually keep the push up. Mid inhib has respawned. There should be one last uh, super minion wave or two that still needs to be dealt with. But I think right now everyone's starting to get prepped and ready because when the Baron respawns, that is going to be a mad dash to gain control of that. I believe they've already killed off the last of the super minions, so they should be pushing out now. They didn't, yep. they didn't make sure that no creep ever, ever pushes that top <laughs> turret down, so that, that's going to be a big factor. Oh, man. They still have it up at least, and they want to keep it up as long as possible. Yeah, and uh, someone someone from Curse is going to have to go up there and take care of that wave. Gonna it's, it's gonna be Angus. It's gonna be Angus. He can definitely use uh, some of the farm right now. He's very close to actually finishing off his own Guardian Angel and have two would be amazing right now, but look, Ezreal, double if has actually got one of his own now. And look, so. at, look at Hotshot GG's build. That's double Negatron Cloak. Double, really trying wow. to get through Extinct's damage right there. Yeah. Uh, you can't really do much deal with Vayne besides build a lot of armor, and he has a Randuins, he has a chain, but he's very tanky himself. Yeah. I mean, if Hotshot GG goes down, that might just be the start of a snowball, but he's going to go in, he's going to go in strong, and make sure the enemy team does focus him down. Oh. This, uh, this re-HP turret does go uh, down. It lasted so, so long, but if, if CLG <laughs> ever did push, it was going to die. There you go. Baron has respawned. Can Maluno actually get the steal this time? 
go down to about 6,000, but Prime decides to break off. They're scared. They are a little bit scared. Angus now has his own GA completed, so there's still an extra life available to both teams. But that's the thing, it's the front liner with the GA against the back liner with the GA. If Kersey can still manage to penetrate the back line and get the GA propped on double, if odds are he's already going to be surrounded, he's not going to be living for very long. But Angus, though, he's going to be the first one on in. If he dies, that's they fine. They know he's going to die. They know he's, he's going to they know he's gonna well. die, so he's going to come back up, and he's still going to be able to provide quite a bit of damage and quite a bit it's of CC. It's almost going to be who can kill the front liner faster. Pretty much. And that, that's scary because Hotshot GG, all right, he's super duper tanky, but Vayne, true damage will go right through his armor. Yes. So it's it's really going to be who can delay the longest, who can keep their back line alive as long as possible. And that's not easy for either side. Yeah, and Extinct uh, drinking those elixirs because, you know, it's, 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 the, it's the end game. It's the late game. So when, you're, when you cannot build any more possible items, that's when you start drinking belly on up to the bar. Well, get a little bit more health. Stuff, but he could, he could, but also, it, also the game can end right now, and he could. knows that. That's why he has these potions. It could, and let's face it too, gold is a little bit slim at this point. Yeah. They're trying to pick anything up they can. It's only a four thousand gold difference. That's not right. massive given the thirty set, like for the thirty-seven minute mark. That's yeah. not the hugest gold lead. So but, neither yeah. is going to be confident. And of course, Katarina Bane, so good late game. But we're getting to the point though where a gold lead. Can start to feel insignificant at which point, if this goes it, on for another it's 10 minutes. It's almost going to be just the base skills. Oh, this could be a good catch. Shots going forward, but looks like Melino going to go yeah. ahead and retreat, stay yeah. alive. It, it's going to be the fact that a rupture could decide the game. Uh, right. uh, first, this had, I mean, the base skills right now are just battering so much. As, well, both teams are not confident to go for Baron, not confident to fight each other, and it makes sense because they're both so damn scary. <laughs> <laughs> if, give this game another 10 minutes, gold isn't going to mean jack. It's just one team fight. And it's going to be one team it. fight, one catch. Like, oh, that guy landed the stun. We win. Yeah. And, we, and we've seen CLG Prime, they have been a little bit too quick on the trigger. We saw Chester actually blow the Amumu ult a little bit too quickly earlier, but now they stay. They recognize that they can outnumber CLG. They did get a little peak of Orion in the top lane, and they tried their best. They tried to pick someone off. Chester took about 25% of his health away. And with that kind of pressure, first, are they actually going to double back? Are they going to start this Baron? I uh, think he did not take enough damage for the confidence. No, he did not. This could be Curse oh, if, if they after CLGs did not work out. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. Trap over. Trap's blown. Everybody go home. It's a trap. You can't do it. Just cannot do it at this juncture. You, you already know the game plan. They already know they're waiting. And Silver Prime taking the next, next best route. Might as well push back up in mid. That is a naked inhibitor, both in mid and in top. And right now, Curse U is in a struggle just to race CLG Prime back to their own base. CLG is confident they can win a fight if Curse U starts it. And this is going to force the fight out of them. And this is a commitment. Full commitment from CLG Prime. They have nowhere to leave if they lose this fight. Angus out in front. Should be using that extra life in just a second. Big Bat taking a little bit of damage from a turret, too. And there is the removal just to keep the rest of, C of a Curse away. That is Shen go down and show the frontline tanks are are now gone. Sona ult only getting vain is exhausted, but still doing damage. Extinct waiting for the recess. Big fat, very low. But toy, can you help clean up? Creatin out front, one shot, taking out Oriana, helping a little bit from the turret and double lift. Somehow, man, got the to Penta. Penta kill. Double Penta lift, kill. CLG North America with the Panda gonna take out this inhib, gonna go for these Nexus turrets, gonna go ahead, stay in winners and stay alive. USA, USA. USA. USA! <laughs> but Curse of you, like, <laughs> damn, did they not perform well. Looking so good. CLG, though, uh, they're keeping that bald eagle flapping. They're staying alive. They are they are here. And they're taking this game. The Nexus will be exploding. <laughs> God damn it, double left. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to toy with our hearts so much? Wonderful game three. That is what we've been wanting all day. Fantastic job. Wow. Are you, are you crying? A little, a little bit. bit. A little bit. Eyes a little watered up. <laughs> because, my gosh, goddamn. <laughs> I mean, that was such... I was so scared for CLG that game. It felt like Curse had the control. And they yeah. didn't have control early on. But just a few good uh, fights. The one forced disengage from Baron. And, of course, the sneaky Baron really yeah. turned around for CLG. Just a surprise strategy. They may have planned it. They may have not planned it. But they saw their opening. They won for it. And it worked. Yeah, it did. And just... yeah. A little, bit, a, little bit, a little bit bad positioning from Curse on that last well, fight. Well, that last fight, it was weird because they were going for Big Fat LP. It's like, get him down. He, he matters so much, and he does. Yeah. But everybody dove after him. Maluno could not get his feast off before the ultimate landed, and Big Fat LP got enough damage off. And that yeah. was just 
one or two more auto attack or not auto attacks, but one or two less command attacks and shockwaves from not shockwaves yeah. dissonances from Big Battle Pete could have been the game. Yeah, and but you saw it like right at the tail end of that fight too was hanging on by the edge of the fight on just a thread of and health. And he got what he needed to, but doubled yeah. the entire time. It's like they're going for him. I'm just gonna yeah. mystic shot Essence flux. I'm just gonna kill you guys. Right. And he did. He got the penta seal. G gotta be feeling so good right now. Yeah, which means we got we got curse versus curse. Come in and lose tomorrow. Wow. Actually. Yep. That's going to be a guaranteed team kill in the loser's bracket. Curse EU and Curse NA coming up tomorrow. That has got to sting. I'm sure they cannot be happy with that one, but uh, may the best curse win. May the win. best curse win, yeah. May the best curse win. Hey, well, curse or die. Curse <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Liquid was handing curse these out earlier today, too. <laughs> <laughs> Loving the handouts of the curse bands. Uh, like now I feel super biased. Like I got the curse band. Where's the CLG band? But you know what? CLG, they may not have bands on us right now, but they're still going to winners. They're yeah. now, I believe, secured into top eight, I believe. No. Yes? I yes. Think yeah. Yes. So I top think, eight yeah. for sure, which is definitely a good spot to be in. So far, they've advanced the most of the North American teams, and they're they're looking really good. Well, amazing. They're looking absolutely amazing, and uh, we hope uh, we hope they can continue on in. It would be great to see them into the Grand Finals also once again for the second IPL in a row. I mean, it, there's a lot of teams that like to see in the Grand Finals. Oh, there it are. It might be, be like a 20 versus 20, but... Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. But that was a fantastic series. Wow. I, like, what, what do we... Uh, what do we well, do from there? <laughs> there's going to be many more awesome games yes. coming up. I believe we have one more set on this stream and one more set on the mainstream. Actually, isn't there a? I heard there's a show match going on. Not too sure on the details though. Maybe. Maybe. There might be a show match. Might be. Might be. Might be an interesting one. Yeah. All right. We'll see what happens. We'll with see. That. Yep. And once again, thanks to all of our fantastic sponsors, which helped make this possible. And thanks to all of you watching at home. We really appreciate it, whether it be on IGN.com or over on the Xbox Live app or even on Twitch. Whatever you're watching. Whatever you're, you're watching. watching on, okay. If you're watching it on your, on your toaster. If, you do, if your That'd computer be great. does not do video anymore, something happened to it, you're listening to it like a radio show, yeah. that's okay. I, I, I've, I've, I, I've, I've heard stories. Before. I've heard stories of DJ Wheat just like audio only while he's like driving around town to do errands. I've done that before. Just, You've you done know, that too? Yeah, I've used my cell phone. I'm just like, well, I, I can't touch it anymore. Just set it to the side, put Mount yep. Lime on the max. Like, let's listen to some games. Let's do it. So thank you guys for joining us. We will be back in just a little bit for more League of Legends action. This is IPL5.